Test check. Not more focus on the party. Good morning and welcome to a pretty unique experience. Um, obviously an experience that I think a community uh, can obviously be proud of, but moreover a, a family, uh, a group of friends and support systems for Catherine here. As we are, I'm proud to announce, we are going to watch one of our future graduates sign her Division I scholarship letter of intent. So that sinks in a little bit. I just Googled all this, so it's fairly accurate. <laughs> in the United States, there are 176,000 Division I athletes, roughly, that's an approximation. Perspective, now that sounds like a huge number. It really isn't. The population of the United States right now is approximately 333 billion people. We are fortunate enough to watch, to have watched, to have seen grow a person who is dedicated to her craft to the point that she is one of those very special, small, few percentages of people, not only in the United States, in the world. To me, that is incredibly impressive and talks about her dedication to her craft, her character, as we're also talking about, I don't think it can be argued, one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. And on top of that, a person who is currently number one in her class. There are very few individuals who have made these accomplishments and to this point in their very young life. And I think the thing that I would want, you know, as my message here, as the principal of the high school, the thing that I would want to have resonate with Catherine is, you're just beginning. And the possibilities that are going to be in place for you in your future are endless. And this is Catherine's day, but we also have some members of our student body here. An example that you see walking down the halls that you can accomplish anything you want if you put your mind to it. Thank you for that, Catherine. I'm going to turn it over to our athletic coordinator, Miss Diana Bartholomew. Welcome, everybody. Um, today, we're going to honor Catherine and her commitment that she is making to the University of Nebraska. Catherine has chosen to continue her academic journey and her athletic career at the university that is rich in heritage and academics, but also a successful history in athletics, which the bowling team that she will be joining has won eight national championships, with the most recent last year in the year of 2021. It's a proud moment for everyone here in the building. Not only should Catherine and her family be proud of her accomplishments, but our coaches and teachers in the room should be proud that you have supported and taught and coached such an amazing student athlete. We all here at Peru are excited for your future and so very proud of you. This day did not come without luck for her. This day is possible due to all the dedication and commitment that Catherine and her family have put in to get to this point. The countless hours of practice, traveling, and all the sacrifices that were made to give up just for her opportunity to advance to such a high level of play. Catherine has brought such a positive light to Peru, not only with her athletic ability, but her accomplishments in her academic achievement, achievements. What an amazing role model for our athletic department, our students, and our community as a whole. Catherine, as your high school career comes to a close in the spring, and you make your way to a campus next fall, you're going to become part of a team that, has become, that will become your family for the rest of your life. Some of the most amazing friendships you will build and some of the life greatest lessons you will learn. You're going to learn more about yourself and more about your sport than you could have ever dreamed of. There are going to be tears of joy. There's going to be tears of anguish. But during those times of anguish, remember, you have built a foundation based on hard work and dedication. And that will carry you through those tough times. That I can promise you. As you transition from blue to white, 
going to red and white. Always remember you have a home here at Peru and you will forever be a Nighthawk. Congratulations and go Huskers. I gotta play her video. At this time, the University of Nebraska sent us a video for us to play. told us that we couldn't look like it's like you know avert your eyes put your blinders on whatever and so I was thinking that the whole time I was like I want to look I want to look so bad and when I walked in I really almost started crying it's just I think it's way overdue and it looks amazing I love it I was so excited I was like this is gonna be such a great year like new start new season it's gonna be great This is going to be a real boon for recruiting. I mean, this is absolutely the premier center in all of collegiate athletics. Um, from what we've not only upgraded our space from the players' lounge and locker room, um, the pro shop is the biggest one we've ever had, to the technological advances with our scoring system and our Specto, which is a computer-aided tracking system. Uh, I think it's going to go long way to help recruits make a decision to come here and be a hospital. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Dad, Rick Bowman, who has also had the opportunity to coach his daughter through her high school career. First, I'd like to thank uh, a few people that showed up today. Uh, Assemblyman Jones, thank you uh, for coming here and giving uh, Captain your support over the uh, over the years. Uh, with, without your support, Captain would not have won the uh, 2021 Dexter High School All American. And uh, that award, they recognized five female and five male bowling athletes. Uh, throughout the whole country, uh, and uh, without the support of the community, it, it makes it difficult to get awards such as that. So I appreciate your help and support. Uh, Principal Matt Berry, uh, the AD, Diana, and Mr. Irvin, uh, without putting this all together in your team, uh, uh, this is pretty incredible. Uh, we're, we're glad to be a part of it, and, uh, and this is what makes Peru so special to us. In the Munsons, uh, in the bowling world, in this area, you wouldn't be anywhere without the the Munson family, Danny, Patty, Bobby, and Junior, who made it here today. Uh, the other ones, uh, unfortunately, it's a business. They had to be there today to open up this morning. But uh, 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 Junior, we appreciate you showing up and all, everything you do. And as a proprietor, they are they're number one. Uh, in this community, bowlers don't get anywhere unless the proprietor supports them. Putting out the shots, providing the equipment, the hours, uh, and they, they will do anything they can to help bowlers succeed, and uh, we appreciate that. i also like to uh, recognize my dad who made the trip up here. It's been a tough year for him, and uh, he traveled in last night to make it here to... The, uh, to uh, 
see his uh, granddaughter uh, sign today. It's very special. And, and uh, David, sitting in there, class of 2009 from Peru, he broke away from his studies. He's uh, currently a med student, trying to make it, make it through. And uh, it's a, a lot of studying. He's either studying, eating, or sleeping. And uh, that, that's his, that's his uh, current workload. Now, how do we get here today? It's, it's been an incredible uh, journey. And, you know, we, we come from a bowling family. Uh, Catherine, initially, she wasn't very competitive at the sport. She really uh, looked at it like she spent a lot of hours in a bowling center before she even started bowling. And uh, then all of a sudden, um, she bowled a tournament with her brother. And after that day, I think she was about 11 years old, it just kicked in, and uh, she saw the opportunities, and things changed. And uh, to get here, every summer, we would put around 5,000 miles in our car, driving to various different tournaments throughout the country. So this summer, 29 days on the road, 6,800 miles, 128 hours on the road. Uh, and that's, that's typically her summer. Every year for the last 11 years, because prior to her, uh, she was in the car watching her brother doing the same thing and participating in the same events. There are several uh, coaches out here. I am her coach. I've been her coach for a long time. And one thing as a parent coach, you, you recognize sometimes you can only take your kids so far. You have to go out there. And there's many coaches that I have taken, we have traveled to for her to... Uh, get a different perspective and get seen. Uh, and these are, uh, in the coaching world, you, the top level has become a gold level coach. Uh, Rick Witzel, Randy Stockow, Andy Dietrichs, and her current coach, Mike Shady, who uh, sends his congratulations today. And I, I can tell you without him and her, his side, the, uh, a lot of this might not be possible. And then we lost a great one this year, uh, Mo Pinnell, who one three-hour session, I think, changed, changed her as a bowler. And it was a, and a, a really good story. We drove to Virginia for a 45-minute lesson from here. And uh, that's a long way to go for a 45-minute lesson that turned into three hours, three-plus hours. And as we went in the pro shop to get another ball drilled for the, the uh, pro shop operator says, your, dad, your daughter must be really impressing Mo Pinnell because he's the type of individual, if you're worth his time, he's going to give you extra time. If not, you're done in 45 minutes. And uh, unfortunately, he passed this year. And I can tell you that, that lesson with him we came back here one week later. She shot her high game record of 299. Five days later, she uh, shot 289 and uh, set the CVAC uh, Section 7 record for high game. And that was a, a three-game record, uh, uh, just a three-hour lesson with uh, one, of, one of the greatest in the game. Uh, in the bowling world, uh, he's highly recognized. Uh, he had asked to be her coach, and we thought we were moving forward and uh, COVID hit, unfortunate times. But one thing Catherine has, has proven out there is to be coachable, and uh, that has gotten her very far in her, in her life, and, and it will take her uh, very far in her collegiate career. But again, I'd like to thank everyone that showed up and uh, to uh, help celebrate this day for us. Okay, at this time, Catherine has a video that she would like to present.
very impressive. There is a lot more to that sport than I could have ever dreamed of. That's, that's amazing. Um, at this time, Catherine would like to say a few words. I apologize for that video. That's actually my recruitment video from last year. Um, it did have music over it for the whole part, but uh, coaches don't really like it when you cover up your uh, talent with music, so I had to cut it out for part of it. Um, but I would just like to start out by saying thank you to everyone who showed up to support me today. Um, it really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Of course, a huge thank you is due to um, Mr. Barry, Mr. Luckin, Ms. Bartholomew, and of course, Mr. Urban for putting on this uh, ceremony for me. Um, it turned out just how I wanted it. It really is amazing. Now, I could stand up here and I could talk about my accomplishments, all the hours of work I put into this, all the struggles and triumphs I've had, but that wouldn't be right. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> it's been a long and hard road to get where I am, but um, it wasn't easy, but I certainly didn't do this by myself. So I'd rather spend my time thanking everyone who has gotten me to where I am right now. Firstly, I want to thank the Munsons, um, who own our local North Bowl lanes. I've been bowling there for as long as I can remember, and I spent so much time there that everyone jokes that I just sleep in the gutter of 32, um, <laughs> and that I just wake up to bowl again. Um, thank you for providing me with the necessary practice and lane conditions so that I can excel. I'd also like to thank my brothers, who have given me their unwavering support throughout this whole process. Um, to David and my sister-in-law, Amanda, thank you for coming to my high school matches, congratulating all my successes, and for keeping my head straight during my college process. You always made sure that I was making the right decisions for me, so that I was making the right choice that I had to for my life, and I wasn't just doing what other people thought that I should do. You actually also uh, shot that video for me, which I <laughs> really appreciate. And to Jonathan and Callie, I only wish that you guys were here right now with us. Uh, maybe you're out there watching us in Kansas. Uh, hello if you are. I wish that you were here with me, but um, I'll see you soon. I can't even begin to count the hours that I've watched you, Jonathan, bowl. All the tournaments you've competed in, high school bowling, league, practices, if you're throwing a ball, I was there watching. You're a huge part of who I am today. You're the one who taught me how to do an approach You've always been there to understand my game, and you encouraged me throughout my early tournaments, which allowed me to break out of my shell and realize my potential for the future. I hope I have made you proud. Next, I'd like to thank Mike Shady. Mike Shady is a stellar bowling coach. Um, he actually coaches for Team USA, uh, but he also coaches me. And every lesson I have with you, I walk away not only a better athlete, but a better person. Your coaching philosophy uniquely nurtures the whole athlete, and I know that the knowledge that you have granted me will undoubtedly help me as I embark on this next journey as a Husker. I'd also like to thank Mark Taylor, who runs the Capital District Youth Scholarship Tour, which is a series of challenging bowling tournaments that I've been competing in for <coughs> a long time. I actually, I was gonna try to count the years, but it's been so long, I don't remember. Mark, your tournaments have given me ample experiences and opportunities to grow as an athlete, and I thank you for your continued support. You are someone who has always been in my corner, and I will never forget that. Lastly, my parents. I don't even know where to begin. I can't even begin to calculate all the hours and money that you guys have poured into this dream of mine. Mom, your support has been unwavering. In fact, you're almost more excited than I was throughout this whole recruitment process. You've sat through every practice, every high school match, every mile we've traveled, every tournament I've competed at. When Dad was unable to be there in person, you were patient with me as I made you record and re-record and then record again every shot just so that he could analyze it. You've dealt with me at my worst and at my lowest, and while you've continually pushed me to keep going, you always pause first to make sure that this is exactly what I wanted. And I can't thank you enough because this is exactly what I wanted. And Dad, it hasn't always been an easy road for us. I know it's hard being both my dad and my coach at the same time but I greatly appreciate both roles that you've had in my life. You're the person who's gotten me here. I still can't comprehend all the things you've done for me. Thank you for teaching me everything I know about bowling, for staying up at night reading articles just so you can better yourself to help me. Thank you for staying up all night, crunching numbers to see if I'd make the cut at a tournament. 
so that I can just get some sleep just in case I did, and for spending the whole tournament doing all the calculations so that I never had to stress myself out with the numbers and scores and could just bowl. You'd always tell me to never look at the scoreboard. Keep your head straight because you've got this. Just relax. You're the first person I turn to after shooting an honor score or breaking a record. You are the type of person to spend days re-plugging and re-drilling every single one of my bowling balls. And yes, that is a lot for those wondering. Um, just because I looked at my finger for a second too long. I wasn't allowed to settle for anything less than perfect, you'd always say. There's nothing that you wouldn't do for me. If you thought it would help me in any way, it was already done. You are my biggest inspiration, and I could never repay you in my lifetime. I just hope that I've made you both proud. And to my future coach, Coach Klempa, thank you for seeing the potential in me and giving me the opportunity to live out my dream. Once I stepped foot on your campus, I knew that this is where I needed to be. I can't even describe how excited I am to embark on this next chapter of my life. I'm ready to become a Husker. Thank you. Okay, at this time, it's the, the moment we've been waiting for. Catherine is going to go ahead and sign her national letter of intent to bowl at the University of Nebraska. Congratulations again, and we are so very proud of you, and we wish you the best of luck in Nebraska. Good thing you're used to snow. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Students, you can head to fifth, and anyone who would like to visit with Catherine and possible uh, press opportunities or anything like that, we can keep our space here for a little bit of time. <laughs> 